Okay, this is what we're working on today. This is working on a uh, GUH 75 from 92. I was out here on Sunday. No heat, bad inducer motor. Got to replace the inducer motor. And we have burners that were rotted out. You can see them right there. They're just rotted out. So we've got new burners here. It comes with a lighter kit. And we got the new inducer motor there. So we got to put the new igniter kit on here, flame sensor, inducer motor. So we'll get that going. Already, already checked the exchanger. This one's uh, still safe to run. Let me get this together. Okay, we got the new burners on, nice and clean. Got my new igniter on there. Because the old one was an old spiral. And that thing was starting to look bad. So we just put a new igniter kit on there. Something a little more common. But yeah, these burners were toast. So let's get the inducer motor on there. Alright. Got the new inducer motor on. Burners, new igniter, and yeah, let's see if she runs. Because I couldn't get this thing running last time I was here. Because I knew some other was locked. pressure switch and would only make the pressure switch if I had the exhaust off but then maybe I should read the instructions because it's got a restrictor plate it needs in there I didn't put it in so read your instructions or you do the job twice so I gotta take all my screws off Put the restrictor plate in and put it back together and hopefully it will work. So, that's what I get to do now. Alright, this is the back of the inducer. And the plate again. Oh, there it is. I took this off the old one. And it fits in here just like so. Restrictor plates in, pressure switches pulling in. There we go. And it works. Just brand new burners. Alright, well, let that be a lesson to you. Read the directions. Then you won't have problems. So let me get this buttoned up and uh, that's it for this one. 
Alright guys, like and subscribe. Thanks.